draw, and I like to draw, but I bet that many of you are much better at drawing than I am. I'm really very bad at drawing, but you were discussing with Byron some lions and when they get manes. So I thought I would quickly try and show you what happens where and how old lions are when they get their manes. I'm going to put up my little board here. And there we go. I'll just tear us off, and I believe you all said polyrachis very nicely. That's very well done. It's not a very easy word to say, especially not when it's quite early in the morning at school. Of course, it's not early in the morning here, is it? It's quite late in the afternoon, and all around us the thunder's going, and the lightning's going, so we have to be careful. All right, let's draw some lions. Now, I don't want you to laugh at my lions. Do you all promise that you won't laugh at my lions? Because I'll be very sad if you laugh at my lions. Here's the first lion. This is a little, oh, that one doesn't work, does it? Here is a little lion. Here's my first lion. And while I draw them, Cole, you want to know how many lions live in a pack. Well, we don't call them a pack, Cole. We call them a pride of lions. So in a pride of lions here, normally there's three or four females, lionesses. See how good I am at drawing? And then they've got their cubs. And then the males are not part of the pride. And that's very important for you to remember that the males are not part of the pride. They don't live with the pride. So the daddy lions live alone with other daddy lions. And so the pride in this area is normally three or four lionesses plus their cubs. And the pride in this area, we're very lucky. We've got five lionesses and they've got six cubs. So this is a little cub and we're going to say that it is, ooh, let's say less. That's what that sign means, less than one year, okay, and we'll give him a little nose and eyes and a little black tail because he doesn't have much of a black tail. So that's less than one year. Now this is a male lion and they don't have a mane by then. It just sort of starts, so we'll just sort of start it off. There we go. And then by the time the lion is say two and a half years old, okay, two and a half years. Can you remember when you were two and a half years old? Of course you can't. And nobody remembers when they were two and a half years old. It's lost too far in history. See, you can see they start to look a little more cross when they're two and a half years old. Then they've got a mane that looks like that. They've got hair on top, makes them look a little bit ridiculous. And then they've got sort of hair down here. And that's sort of what they look like. So they don't look very good when they're two and a half years old. They look sort of silly, but their tails have got the full black pom-pom on the end of them. Then, let's say by the time they are more than, that's what that sign means, six years old. And that's what our lions, the big lions that we have here, they are more than six years old. Well, by then they've got a full mane. And sometimes it goes down onto the back and sometimes it comes down onto the chest. There we go. It goes all the way around the ears. And it even happens that when they, it comes under their arms. And when they're big, well, then you've got to be careful of them. We'll give them some teeth because they're very large lions. Now those, of course, are terrible looking lions, and I bet that all of you could draw much better lions, and maybe your teacher, when you've finished on safari with us today, will allow you to draw some beautiful lions like that. Okay, now the other very interesting thing that we have here, we don't normally have too many animals around, but sometimes we do. We've had elephants walk past here, and buffalo, and bushbuck, and nyala, and once even a leopard. I unfortunately wasn't in the tent when that happened, but if you come inside, I've got something very very special to 